New rules for international students in Canada, IRCC's study permit amendments explained. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we keep you updated on the latest news and tips for international students in Canada. Today, we have some important news from the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. They propose significant amendments to the study permit rules, and if you're an international student or planning to study in Canada, you need to know about this. So, let's dive in. The RCC has recently proposed new amendments that could significantly impact international students. The main change. If you decide to change schools during your studies in Canada, you might now need to reapply for a new study permit. Yes, you heard that right. Let's break down what this means. Currently, international students in Canada can change their designated learning institution, or DLI, without needing to reapply for a study permit. All they need to do is update their DLI number in the IRCC system. It's a relatively simple process. But under the new proposed rules, this process is set to change. If these amendments are approved, students will be required to apply for a new study permit whenever they change their school. This means more paperwork, potential delays, and a new set of fees. Let's look at the details. So, what exactly are these proposed changes? Here are the key points. New study permit required, students must apply for a new study permit if they decide to change their DLI. Students who wish to switch DLIs must submit an application for a new study permit before the start date of the new program, and students will be able to attend the new DLI without a valid study permit until a decision is made on the application, provided they remain in Canada and comply with all other conditions of their current study permit. Application process. The application process will include submitting a new study plan, financial proof, and other necessary documents. Fees. Students will have to pay the application fee again, which currently stands at CED 150. Processing time. The processing time for a new study permit can take several weeks to months, depending on the volume of applications and individual circumstances. These changes are aimed at ensuring that students' study permits reflect their current educational intentions and institutions, providing better tracking and regulation of international students in Canada. What does this mean for you? As an international student, planning ahead, you'll need to plan your education path more carefully to avoid unnecessary delays and costs. Financial impact, be prepared for additional costs if you need to change schools. Time management to consider the extra time it will take for the new permit to be processed before making any decisions about transferring schools. It's essential to weigh these factors carefully when considering a transfer between institutions. Here are some tips to help you navigate these potential changes. Stay informed. Keep an eye on updates from the IRCC regarding the implementation of these amendments. Consult your DLI. Talk to your school's international student office for advice before making any decisions. Prepare documentation. Have all your documents, such as financial statements and study plans, ready in case you need to reapply. Plan transfers wisely. If you anticipate a need to change schools, try to do so during breaks to minimize disruption to your studies. These steps can help you stay ahead and ensure a smoother transition if you need to change schools. The proposed amendments by the IRCC are significant, and they underline the importance of staying informed and prepared. We'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share for your friends, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.